bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. The community of Jersey City is hungry for fine art, and our guest today is providing just that. Hi, I'm Jamie Lynn Rohan, and thanks for joining us here on Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is Duda Pentiato, a fine artist here in Jersey City. And today, we're talking about his special showcase, A Feast on Fine Art. Duda, thank you for joining us. It's great to be back. It's good to see you again. So why don't you explain to our viewers what's happening at the Hard Grove Cafe? Well, this is a super unique event, and what we did is the owners, the new owners, Carmen uh, Mendiola and Evelyn Padin, asked me to come up with a concept for the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And I came up with this idea to celebrate fine art, so I chose artists from 19th and 20th century, like Van Gogh, Picasso, um, and then some 20th century American artists, Basquiat, Andrew Warhol, Jackson Pollock, and we turned the restaurant into this big celebration of fine art. And what inspired you to choose these artists and this type of artwork? Why did you go that way? Well, the, the, these are great artists with great stories and art that comes out of life, life experience, and each one has a very unique one. Mm -hmm. But the very interesting thing that we turn the tables and find our tables, and when you come to the restaurant now, you can go, listen, I want to have lunch in a Van Gogh table or I want to sit in a Duda Pinchado table. I did my own in there. And um, the whole place is this incredible celebration of fine art, you know, and we kept a little bit of the, 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 the flavor of what was the restaurant. It was a Cuban-American restaurant, and I did this also this big art installation on the wall talking about the future of Cuba. Mm -hmm. So every aspect of the restaurant is really, really has this beautiful fine art concept. Well, it's I know one. that we have some images of the grand opening, which took place recently. What was that like, unveiling your artwork on something? How long did that project take? It took about six months from beginning to end, and the unveiling was great because I came up with a concept called Grand Unveiling, mm -hmm. which was uh, we unveiling the table. So we have tablecloths on the tables, oh, and wow. we had people that we call friends to unveil this table and that table. So it was about almost 300 people in the place. And where is the place located? It's right across the Grove Station in the corner, and from the sign on the entrance to Everything in the wall, there's a text in the wall uh, written by Jersey City Museum. It has this museum flavor mm -hmm. to the place. It's really, it's really like a loungy, cutting edge place. Tell me about the special meaning of the grand opening, which took place recently on July 26th. Why July 26th? Well, July 26th was um, the first attempt of Fidel Castro trying to take the government in Cuba. Um, and um, he was caught and was sent to prison, but that was the mark. So. What we did also, the whole thing about the opening is this unveiling or art installation. So we had everyone who worked in the restaurant wearing t-shirts like I'm wearing today, like, you know, camouflage. Gorilla, gorilla camouflage, you know, and, and the revolution is the art revolution, is the hard growth revolution, a new flavor in Jersey City. Why do you think that an unveiling like this, artwork like this, and a restaurant like this is so important to the community here in Jersey City? Well, because, I mean, Jersey City has been growing so much it, it, since 9-11 is even more, um, more intense, and I think we talk so much about buildings and who's coming to town, and this is one of the first signs in how owners of restaurants see the new faces and say, well, we want to have this kind of classic restaurant, very interesting, like a more New York Soho flavor mm -hmm. in Jersey City. What's the feel if we do if we go do uh, attend the Hardgrove Cafe and have a meal? What type of uh, atmosphere is it to sit there and have dinner with someone? I think I think it's great because I think if you call to book a table, you should pick a table. You know, you could say like I like Picasso so and you can pick an artist. Yeah, you can pick in your favorite artist. And the thing, even the way the dishes uh, was designed for the table, the dishes are very clean cut and plain. So, so that the main emphasis is on the artwork. That's right. So it's really playing with the opposite concept. You know, when you have a chance to eat on top of a real fine art piece. Uh -huh. I see. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on Comcast Newsmakers. Congratulations and good luck to you with your work. Thank you. This hour's newsmaker has been Duda Pentiato, a fine artist here in Jersey City. I'm Jamie Lindrell, hand for Comcast Newsmakers. And for more information, join us online at cn8.tv.